Welcome to the another episode of Abstract Thesis series. In this series, we are digging deep into the Power BI concepts. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for our new video. Hello and welcome to another video of Abstract Thesis series. And in today's video, we would like to discuss, let's say I have two uh, columns and I have rank on both of them. But what I would like is I would like to put them in a single table uh, matrix, matrix basically. And I would like to see uh, the rank respective rank whenever that particular uh, uh, thing is in place. So how do we do that? So let's say the category is displayed, it should show category rank. If brand is displayed, it should show brand rank, something like that we wanted to do. So let's jump out of the Power BI and let's try to do that. So first of all, what we need here is uh, we need to have two rank. So uh, let's quickly check uh, our rank measures. Do we have rank already available? So uh, we have rank uh, for gross and uh, we have rank. So but we want rank on net. So let's let me quickly create rank measure first of all. So rank net. And I'm creating a rank major and in Power BI, you know, the rank um, in the rank uh, is basically uh, having a dependence on what you are taking uh, here in the rank function. So I'm taking all selected here. Uh, so whatever is selected based on that, this rank should change. And I'm going to take here item brand is the one of the thing which I wanted to take is item brand now. And then next thing which I would like to do is uh, I would like to take net, which is my major. And then I would like to sort it descending and dense. So if they're same value. So the, uh, let's say one and one repeat twice. Then after that, what should we do? We should uh, not get three, we should get two. So that's what dense means. So we got one major and let's uh, try another one. So we, I copied this and then I'm going to change only one thing. I'm going to make that other one on category. So net on category and category. Okay, now let's quickly look at these majors and how they are behaving. Uh, so for that, what I'm going to do here is let me drag these along with, so let me first have two tables, uh, one on item. I have this item brand, one table and let me have category, another one. Actually, we need net also along with the ranks. So little bit space is needed. One net here, another net here, and we need to see their ranks. So rank net and rank net cat. Okay, so we get the ranks. Now This is what we got. Now what happens is, uh, let's try to put these things into a matrix and let's see what happens. Now the, I don't want this to be matrix. I want to have another matrix. So let's put these things into a matrix. So we create this one and here let's put, first put category. Our rank is available, let's put both the rank majors here. It's going to show one and one, it doesn't matter right now. Okay. And then what I want, I want to put first category and second brand and let me expand here. Now category two is one. Let me collapse them all first of all. So you see here when I go here category rank and I, I don't, I see one, one, one here. Now, what I want, I, I want to combine these. So this category rank is correct here. Now, if I drill down, now if I expand this, see uh, here the category rank is behaving like category uh, ranking inside the brand. And here it is inside the brand, the rank uh, is there for the this one. So this, this is different from this one. But this is correct because in this case, I want to rank my brand inside the category. That is correct. So that's what I'm achieving. But in the same one, instead of displaying this one and one, so what I want in single rank, now I want this, this to be like this when it is collapsed or when it is expanded even, then I want these numbers. So how can I do that? So I want to create now one single rank column. So let's try that out. So let's say 
rank combine. So what we are going to use is is in scope is in scope. So what it is in scope. So now remember category is always is in scope when it is branded and to test that let's do one thing. First of all check where item category is in scope. So when we say is in scope then one as zero. So first of all let's test this. Rank combine is the major which we created and let's see where, where all places the category is in scope. So you see everywhere it is one. So category is always in scope because it's the first in the hierarchy here. So now we know that, so what, what you should in such cases, whenever, whenever you are using is in scope, always start in the reverse hierarchy order. Whatever is below, start with that. So we check brand. Is brand is in scope or not? So now it is going to come zero. So now what we knew what need to be done. So we can take a rank net here whenever it is in scope. Whenever it is in scope, we can use rank net and when net it is not in scope, we can check now categories in scope or not, but in this table we have only two. So we can actually push rank cat here and now let's see what happens. So now you see three here, now you see one here, now you see four here, now you see two here. Now you see five here, okay, and, and grand total doesn't matter. So we can in fact have one more where we handle the grand total. Let's say now let me change it. I don't need anything on the grand total level. So let me change it a little bit. So I'm going to make this as a switch now. Okay, switch and true, true switch we are going to use. Okay, so when it is, is in scope, alt enter is something which you can use here. Now second one I'm also going to check now. So I'm going to check now. Now let me copy this and simply make it as category. So I'm saying when category is in scope, give me this, otherwise give me blank. Okay. Now, so you don't see anything on grand total. So, so there are many uses of is in scope like this. When we want to change the calculation at the subtotal level or even sometime at grand total level, we can use that. And sometime when you want to change the uh, total, let's say uh, row wise or column wise, it's a matrix, you can have a column also and then you want to change at the last one. So you can use this one. So go ahead and try is in scope and do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.